My name is Ken Simmons and I am a private chef working in Cornwall. Today I'm doing a fresh Cornish mackerel dish which is hand-lined sustainable Cornish fish which you can tell when you're buying as the mouths are usually damaged. It's a good sign that they've been line caught. They need to be very firm, bright eyes, no smell to them because they are fresh, they will smell of the sea. Served on a little bit of griddled sourdough with a pepronata. Take your sharp knife slice in behind the gill, turn it back on itself to the tail, r run the knife right through along the bone to take the fillet off, then just remove the, the actual belly bones, fin bones and anal fin bones, and then the fillet will have um, a line of bones going right down the middle of the fillet. Take your filleting knife and gently just cut on a V on one side of the bones, then again on the other side of the bones and create a V shape pick the bones up and they will just gently rip out of the fillet and you should have a nicely deboned fillet of mackerel ready to cook. I've got a nice nice fresh sourdough. Rub one side over your bread. You'll be surprised how much the bread will take on that beautiful garlic flavour. Take the fish, put it in a nice just a very little oil. I've got, I've got a nice non-stick pan. If you actually put the fish fillets into an already hot pan, what happens is the actual fish goes into shock and it will curl up. By putting it in a cold pan, you can see that the fish doesn't have that initial knee-jerk reaction to the heat and it will actually stay flat, the skin will stay flat. You cook it until it's lovely and crisp, turn it over, reduce the heat right down and the actual residual heat in the pan will be enough to cook the fish. The pepronata just needs to be warmed through, which is a stew of peppers, onions and garlic, chilli, um, olives and capers, very Mediterranean, very fresh, works with the um, mackerel very well. And there's our filleted mackerel with charred sourdough bread and pepronata.